In a world rife with desperation, there stood a village of children living without adult supervision. Watched over by the ancients, these children were siblings of a gifted generation, destined for a great battle with a malicious force. Untainted by the darkness that plagued the rest of humanity, they possessed great and tapped potential and were blessed by the dying ancients with gifts and relics. When they had come of age, these children rose to fight the darkness. Although they had the necessary skills and power, the darkness was cunning and it crept up on the children when they least suspected it. There was an epic battle that spanned across time and space, and the children valiantly fought the darkness. But in the end, only three of the siblings were left standing. These three took the rest of their brethren under their wing, helping them heal and recover from the battle. Now, centuries have passed and with the darkness gone, the three remaining children have gone on to establish great civilizations. Achilas became the leader of the Egyptian civilization, building pyramids and supporting the reign of magnanimous pharaohs. One could say he made Egypt what it is today. Hidna led the rise of the Greeks, Athenians of great intelligence and Spartan warriors of immense strength. Alexander was responsible for the great empire of Rome, giving rise to great leaders such as Caesar and his extremely tasty chicken salad. Like all siblings, these three became rather competitive and continually argued about whose civilization best represented the traditional values of their village upbringing. They decided on an ultimatum that the winner would be the one that found the shield, the only artifact that could divine the true nature of a person. To find it, the three children travelled to a faraway location to meet the last living creature who had seen the shield. A creature many thought dead. A creature known simply as Ray. I've been expecting you. Then you know why we're here. Then surely you know that the shield will only reveal itself to the best civilization. Surely it is mine. Mine. No. Mine. 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 There's only one way to find out. Only the most virtuous can hold the shield. Then it is settled. Hand it over. It's not that simple. I've been guarding it since you were in your diapers. So, where is it? It's not that simple. It's not quite anywhere. So, you lost it? It's not that simple. I didn't lose it. I just never had it. The shield will only reveal itself to the most pure. Until then, it will remain hidden. 
So call forth your champions, these guardian groups who you say represent these values, and the shield will judge for itself. And so the three sped off and called forth their respective guardian groups, those who were said to represent the values of the shield. Hey guys, where are you? Sorry boss, I'm gonna be late. Train broke down. Buona Vista, change out to the next station for the east-west line. Oh. Oh wait. Once they had all been summoned, the three armies confronted each other. Only five? This is a joke, surely. I laugh. Haha! <laughs> My champions like a challenge. Five of them will be more than enough to take on all of you. Okay, but first, we must set some ground rules. Each group possesses a gift. A gift they can use anytime during their struggle. But our blessings only remain for three users of the gift. After which, they vanish. Go! Get the shield! shield. 